Hey everyone, it's Max and welcome back to our Python tutorial. So, in the last tutorial, we looked at how we can create this Pygame screen, how we can go through it, process all of the events, and also process what happens when someone quits the game, so when they clo click the close button. So that's great, but we only got a black screen. So, let's deal with that a little bit and let's make a little bit something a little bit more interesting. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to learn how we can create a rectangle on the screen. Okay, so how are we going to go about that? Well, what we're going to do is, first of all, we're just going to create a rectangle and we're going to save it in this rect, or what we can call the variable rect. We can call it rect1 or something like that. Just give it a name to indicate what your rectangle should be. So this is just the variable name that we're going to store our rectangle object in. So how do we create it? Well, we create it by first of all going into Pygame. And in Pygame, we're going to access the rect object. And now we open and close parentheses. And although this opens and close parentheses, this does not mean that it's a method technically. Um, so we can have open and close parentheses for objects as well as methods or functions, you know, methods just functions for objects. Um, but what this open and close parentheses allows us to do is it allows us to define some starting parameters for a rectangle. Um, and specifically what we can define is going to be a x, a y, as well as a width and a height of our rectangle. So we can define the starting positions, the x and y conditions, as well as the width of a rectangle and the height. So these are the properties that we can put in here. Um, so for example, we can put it at the x, y coordinates of 0, 0. So that's where one of its corners is going to be. Then we can give it a width of maybe 30 pixels. And we'll also make it 30 pixels high. So just that everything is square so that everything is consistent. And we'll just create a square rectangle at the position 0, 0. Um, yeah, with these with these um, parameters here. So that's going to be its size. So that's the rectangle that we've created. And we've actually saved this rectangle in this variable called rect1. So we can access our rectangle later on by just accessing this rect1 variable here. All right, so now we want to add it to the game. So to do that, we're going to go into Pygame. And what we're going to do is to add this rectangle to the game. So now we've created the rectangle. But now it's not really anywhere. So now we want to add it to the we want to add it into our window. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw it into our window. And in this draw um, object, we're actually going to look at another property which is going to be rect. So what we're doing is we're going into Pygame, we're accessing this draw object, and inside of this draw, we're saying, well, what exactly do we want to draw? So there are different shapes that we can draw. One of the shapes is a rectangle and that's exactly what we want to draw. So we want to draw a rectangle and here again we can pass certain parameters. So that's why this draw object is kind of a bigger um, class, a bigger object that in itself contains different attributes, different features, different functions or methods um, that do different things and generally the object is responsible for drawing but depending on what we want to draw, we have to access different methods. In this case, we access the rect method, and that is going to allow us to draw rectangles. Now we have to put in here some parameters. So first of all, we have to define the screen that we want to draw to. So our screen is the screen that we created up here. Now in case you gave your screen a different name, like screen1, your screen will be screen one here. So you want to make sure that the variable that you save this display in or the screen is the one that you're going to be passing in here because that's the one that you're going to be wanting to draw to. We'll just leave our name as screen. Now something else that we can do is we can put in here a color. This is going to be in the form of red, green, and blue. So we'll look at that in a second. And the final thing that we're going to put in here is going to be the rectangle object that we want to put in there. So we're going to draw onto our screen 
we're going to draw onto our screen, or we want to draw a rectangle onto our screen that has this color, and this is the rectangle that we want to draw on. So those are the parameters that we need to pass with it. Now let's quickly define our color. So to define our color, we're going to create a variable called color, and we're going to have it be equal to the following. Now before, when we created a variable, we usually just put in one thing, like we put in, you know, the word hello or the string hello, or the number one, or the integer one, or the floating point number 1.0 or something like that. So we've always put in one number. But for the color here, we actually need a RGB value, red, green, blue. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to look at something called a tuple. So it, to create a tuple, we're going to make it equal to, and then we open and close parentheses. And what this does is it nicely packages up several values for us. And so now we can pass values in the form of a tuple or in the form of these package numbers. So for example, to create a fully blue color, I'm going to first put in the number zero. So again, we're creating RGB, so zero of the red value. And then comma is going to indicate that we're going to have a new element, zero of the green color, and 255, so maximum, of the blue color. So that's just the scale that this RGB works on. So what we've created here, rather than assigning a single number or a single um, word or string or whatever, we've created something called a tuple, which we can imagine as a package of, in this case, numbers, but it can also be a package of other things, like a package of strings, for example. But in this case, our color contains a tuple that contains itself three numbers. So color is a little package that contains three numbers. It contains the number zero in its first position, it contains the number zero in its second position, and it contains the number 255 in its third position. Now, this by itself may mean different things for you know different inputs, but if we're putting it in here, then for the draw object and the rectangle method, these three values together correspond to RGB values. So they correspond to red, green, blue values. And so if we put this tuple, this package of three numbers in here, that's going to correspond to the color blue because blue is maximum. So the scale goes from 0 to 255. Um, and so that's what we're doing in here. We're, we're using this tuple is what it's called. It's just a package to help us pass several numbers in one element here. And we also see here each element is separated by a comma. All right, so there's one more thing that we need to do. So now that we've created a rectangle and we've drawn a rectangle, we need to update our display. We need to update our screen. So we're going to go into Pygame and we're going to access the display object and in it we're going to call the flip method and pretty much what this allows us to do is it allows us to update so what we've done now is we've created first a pretty much blank screen because we haven't added anything to it we're going through the events once we finish going through the first events we're creating a rectangle position 00, zero with width and height of 30 and we're drawing this rectangle to the screen with the color blue. And now that we've done all that, we still need to update our display. So we're pretty much entering the next frame or whatever it is now, you know, and now we need to update it so that we have this rectangle in there. And so that's why we need this final call here of um, the display object in Pygame, and we need to use this flip method. So that allows us to update our display. It allows us to update the screen that we've created. So if we run this, then we see up here we've created this little rectangle. So for me, this rectangle is a little bit hidden in the top left corner. That's just because it's covered by this bar here. But if we go back into our rectangle that we've created and change the Y position to maybe 50 to move it down a little bit and then rerun this, then we see our rectangle is now this nice square that's created right here.